This is a short video to tell you how to set up Logger Pro and do a couple of the things that you'll need to do uh, in Logger Pro. The first step you should always do is save as. So go up to file and click save as. Pick a spot to save the file to such as the desktop. I have a folder here called physics demo videos. You can create a new folder called physics and then the title should be your last name and then what lab this is and then click save if you've done this correctly at the top of your window it should now say instead of untitled McChesney pendulum for me then we want to check and make sure our preferences are set up correctly. So click on Logger Pro and Preferences. And you want to make sure the auto backup is turned on. The undo levels is set to the max amount. Display larger text on screen. Thicker graph trace lines are all turned on. And then you can click OK and when you're doing this you want to do a couple of things you want to rename your columns x and y to something that makes sense for this lab so since this is the pendulum lab if you double click on something if you're unsure what to do double click and it brings up a screen so this data set is for pendulum and then I want my x-axis so I'm going to double click on it And right now it doesn't seem to be working, so I can also go up to Data and Column Options, click on the X, and I'll bring up this box, and I can retitle this something like, uh, maybe you measure the angle of your pendulum, give it a short name that makes sense, and units for an angle should be measured in degrees, which if you click on the little triangle next to it, uh, gives you the option to have degrees as what you want and you measured that versus time so again go data column options y short name should be a lowercase t and the units should be a lowercase s if you've done this correctly not only will your columns have the correct title but also as you look on the graph you'll see that they have the title and the units now if you go into the middle of your graph area and double click, we can click on where it says graph options and give a title and you are measuring angle versus time. Go down to where it says minor tick styles and turn those on to solid. Make sure connect points is turned off and point symbols are turned on. And then click OK. You should see now a graph with more lines on it and a title to it, but it looks like I've titled this angle versus time, which is the y-axis versus the x-axis, but my y-axis is labeled time and my x-axis is labeled angle, so I need to switch those. I could retitle these, but if you've typed in a bunch of data, you may find it's much easier just to move your cursor over to where it says time on the y-axis, click on it, and it brings up this option you to choose time or you can't really see it there but I, you can choose angle and that will switch that to the y-axis and now come over down to the bottom click on angle and change it to time and now you've got the axis in the right option so then you want to type in your data me. So you should have had your data for angle going up by every 5 degrees up to a maximum of 35. And then you type in whatever time you got from your data. So let's say I got 15 seconds. Maybe I got 20 seconds. 30 seconds. 
40 seconds, 50 seconds, 60 seconds, and 70 seconds. So this is not true data, but it's just stuff that I gathered, just plugged in random numbers for the time, plug in whatever numbers you want. If, for instance, you did multiple trials at five degrees, you can then also type in your extra five degrees. Type in the data for those. So you get all your data typed in. We then want to do a line of best fit. So there are multiple ways to do this. You can go up to data, um, or sorry, you can go up to analyze and pick something out of there, or you can just look at the buttons that are at the top of the screen. And if you let your button, you let your cursor hover over a spot, it will tell you what it is. And we want a linear fit because it looks like the things are in a straight line. It will put the line of best fit on there. You want to check to make sure the information in the box is easy to read. Sometimes you want to make that look larger. If you double click on it, brings up this linear fit options and you've got appearance as a choice and you can change that to a different font size. In which case when you click OK and OK, it'll make it easier to read when you print this out as a graph.